Now ending it off with the performance, this device does actually have the Apple A10 Fusion chip inside of it, like I mentioned, and that's a pretty cool thing for this device to have. You know, it has a great performance for the most part. It's not going to be a slow phone. It's not going to be the greatest, like fastest phone ever either, but for a majority of people out there, it's going to get the job done. This device, like I mentioned, pretty much has the same specifications internally as something like an iPhone 7. So whatever you're going to be able to do on an iPhone 7, you're pretty much going to be able to do on your iPod Touch 7 generation. And I think that's a really good thing. If you're somebody who wants to just play a bunch of games and you know, kind of go in that direction. Just know that this iPod Touch is probably going to be able to do those things, but do keep in mind that it's not going to be like the greatest, fastest thing ever. You know what I mean? So if you're trying to play games like Fortnite or whatever, well, you can't really play those things anymore. But if you're trying to play like Real Racing 3 or any other game for that matter, PUBG, whatever other games are supported, you're pretty much going to be getting a pretty okay experience. I think for the price tag, it's pretty good actually, but it's a smaller display. So there's not a lot of pixels to push and you have an Apple A10 Fusion chip which is still a pretty good chipset inside of it. So you're really not sacrificing anything when it comes down to that. Now, there are some other areas that I wish kind of improved on. I think the RAM is one thing that's kind of getting into the you know space where that's something that we want to see improved. But I really do think because of the price tag and because this thing being so cheap, we're not expecting this thing to be an insanely great device in terms of performance. We're expecting this thing to be good enough for people to go play games on and people to play music on and watch videos. If you're trying to go and like do some crazy things on it, just keep in mind at that back of your head that this is an iPhone 7 and an iPod Touch body. That's the best way I can put it. And if you have that kind of thought process, it kind of makes it feel like that much better of a device in my opinion. So in terms of performance, that pretty much covers it up. Now